Hello Jaguars, I'm here at the H.C. Edwards building where on December 9th the Clark County Board of Education decided to put former superintendent Dr. Damon Means on administrative leave and appoint Zunona Thomas as chief executive until an interim superintendent can be appointed. Dr. Gant, I make a motion to place Dr. Means on administrative leave effective immediately, appoint an interim superintendent as soon as possible, and appoint Dr. Zunona Thomas as acting chief executive pending the appointment of the interim. Now, part of the goal was to um, put him on administrative leave was so he would not be the voice of the school district. If it would be this easy to oust the superintendent, why we can't get rid of the board, the board members that causing all the ruckus? We have to learn how to unite around the importance of equity. You can believe that equity is the most important work of our district and still think that the way it's currently being approached is not helpful for the district or for the kids of Clark County. It is possible for both of those things to be true and it's not either you support Dr. Means or you don't know equity. People of the Athens community rallied together, some in support of Dr. Means and some not. Either way, tensions were high as everyone anticipated a decision. I've never seen this community this um, upset and being pulled together this cohesively. Uh, there are a lot of white people that are not happy either. So I would not be surprised if some of the same shenanigans uh, that the board pulled on Dr. Means would not occur with some of them. Many community members felt the school board's decision was motivated by race, while other people felt it had to do with the superintendent's extra spending on contracts and consultants. When a man such as Dr. Means come in, who has the ability, the intellect, the accolades to do what he's doing, and history has shown, especially if you're a man of color, a black man, you, there's always extra obstacles to overcome. The only thing he wanted, wants to do is to get everyone level. It's not just about the black kids. It's not just about the white kids. It's not just about the brown kids. It's about all kids. Though they might not agree with Dr. Means, members on the opposing side do agree that there is cause for concern and more understanding between both sides. Uh, there's a lot of hurt and well-earned lack of trust, I think, within the local African-American community. I think it would be very presumptuous for me to say, you know, here, let me come in from my, you know, relatively privileged position to say this is how you should feel. Some attendees think the school board is fair and capable of making their own decisions, even though it may cause discomfort throughout the community. I regret that there is so much animosity right now. Um, I think it is very unfortunate that there have been the public attacks from prominent leaders in the local black community against school board members. After it was decided with a 5-3 to three vote, most of the attendees of the meeting were too emotional to speak. We will keep you updated with the future of our community. But until then, this has been Ansley Gunnerman reporting for WJAG-TV.